A new look Samsung CNT started operations on Tuesday as the de facto holding company of Samsung Group, Korea's biggest conglomerate. Samsung says the merger that formed the new company adds to the group's synergy, but many see it as a way for Samsung heir apparent to solidify his grip on the business group. Song Ji Sun has the details. Samsung Group's construction arm, Samsung CNT, opens a new chapter in its history this week after its recent merger with Samsung's fashion affiliate, Chail Industries. With a market capitalization of 23 billion U.S. dollars, Samsung CNT becomes the fourth biggest entity on the local boards after Samsung Electronics, Hyundai Motor, and Korea Electric Power Corporation. After a matter of months since Chail Industries went public, Samsung CNT won approval for the merger from 70 percent of its shareholders in mid-July. Lee Jae-yong, the only son of the group's ailing patriarch Lee Gon hee is the biggest winner from the merger. He immediately acquires a 16 percent stake in the new de facto holding company. The group has also simplified its complex web of cross-shareholding through the restructuring and saved billions of dollars in inheritance taxes in the process. Of course, it was an all smooth sailing as the company was locked in a two month long legal battle with U.S. based Elliott Associates, who sought to block the move, claiming the terms of the merger did not match the value of the shares. Samsung CNT hopes to achieve annual growth of 10% with the synergy stemming from the merger, to at $55 billion in revenue by 2020. Its ambitious goal is to foster the bio sector as a new growth engine for the group. Although Samsung claims the merger is aimed at creating more synergy between their business sectors, shareholders are aware that's not the only purpose. Samsung still has a few more M&A scenarios in the works to further strengthen Lee Jae-yong's control over the group, especially to increase his stakes at Samsung Electronics. For the time being, the new holdings firm will be headed by four chief executives from the two units in charge of each division, construction, Trading, fashion, and resorts. A new chairperson will be elected later this week. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.